last night basically went as well as it could have gone for Harris. Mm. And I suppose if you were to try and sum it up, I don't know why you would want to do this, but if you were going to sum it up in, say, an emoji, in one single emoji, then I think you would probably sum it up with the old fishing rod emoji with a fish at the end of it. Because what was very clear throughout is that Harris had a strategy, which was to bait Trump, which was to knock him off course, which was to exploit his vulnerabilities and his neuroses and his sort of inner angst about different things and knock him off course, which he did repeatedly on issue after issue. The best example being of all the one you've already referred to, where what should have been extremely strong territory for him, for him about immigration, a question about immigration, mm. Harris answered first, just got a sneaky little reference into the idea that maybe his crowd sizes were diminishing, that maybe people were starting to disappear by the end of them because they were no nonsensical. What does Trump do instead of just ignoring that, which a more skilled candidate would have done or more skilled debater would have done, I should say, um, instead of just ignoring it and hitting their talking points, he goes off on a rant about some random town in the middle of Ohio eating where illegal migrants eat cats and dogs. So you know, as well as having a sort of long rant about how his crowd, crowd sizes were the biggest possible. So I don't think it could have gone much better for Harris than it did. 